Hello, I'm Joachim Wühlbeck, a product manager of uh, Wisnet. Uh, Wisnet is a semiconductor company for hardwired TCP IP chips and modules. We implemented the TCP IP stack in hardware, supported by the Mac in the other chip family, uh, including the physical layer, and in the 4-in-1 family, including the MCU, for internet applications, internet of things, and uh, embedded internet use. We have several chips for with different interface, like SPI, 8-bit and 16-bit interface. We build modules for these chips to support our customers, uh, uh, plug-in modules, uh, application modules like serial to Ethernet, and application modules for general purpose use. On the embedded world 2013, today, we introduced the, our latest application modules. We have uh, on the 4-in-1 chip family, we have the 7200 and the 7100 4-in-1 chip. And using this chip enable with this module applications like sensors to the internet, I.O. to internet, uh, other field bus interface to the internet. And this application modules we name 900 family modules. So here you have the 32-bit Cortex-M3 and here you have a 8-bit MCU with all needed peripheral support. With the same MCU 4-in-1 chips, we, in, we did and do modules for serial to Ethernet, serial to Ethernet, uh, like with the 107 module or the 127 module. And if you like to implement the serial to Ethernet on the board level, we also delivered our chips pre-programmed with the same market approval serial to Ethernet solution. So integrate this as chip. Uh, we have a leaflet introducing this, this new chip family, let's say it this way, and also introducing our module uh, that is using these four-in-one internet MCU. Here I want to show you our core technology and the advantages we, our application and your application gain by the hardwired TCP IP. Hardwired TCP IP means that the TCP IP stack is in hardware, so you have up to eight socket connections in parallel in hardware, and the MCU does not need any um, operating system and does not has to operate the TCP IP protocol. All is done here in hardware. And below that we have the Mac and the physical layer, and we have several chips and modules for that. Using this hardware TCP IP enables a small 8-bit microcontroller we use here in our 7100A chip to be a web server and send out this data into the cloud or to your or as web server here to the to the page. We, we did a demo here with a magnetic field sensor and our chip and connected to the internet. This is the WIS 912 module. You can power by Ethernet and here we have the magnet field sensor so it's a 3D sensor so we can move a magnet and here you can see a small 8-bit microcontroller being web server all these web page and this 3D animation is done by our by the small 8-bit micro and this data can be transferred into the cloud we can measure uh, all the we can set up the measuring parameters so we want to have 1000 measurements every time so we set up these parameters and and then measurement was here you see 1000 measurements in a row 
and all these web server script function and all this is without operating system just on our small micro. This is a second uh, demo application we did with our new 922 module also powered by Ethernet so we connect here the power over Ethernet to our internal 5 volt voltage regulator that makes 3.3 volt of it and this is supplied our with uh, our W7200 chip. Here we have a 32-bit microcontroller inside and our hardware TCP IP engine. And this is an RFID reader or an NFC supporting wireless module. We just attach here, SPI interface. And here we did a very easy uh, web server. Uh, where's my mouse? So we just request uh, the card and then it's detected and the ID should come up in a few seconds. I press again. So here's the card ID and we implemented a cloud application. So every time we read here, we send this data into a, to one of our cloud servers so that we can if you do that in an application, you can review all what is what is happening in front of the reader in a cloud on a cloud server. So also this small little uh, web server is in uh, in this small microcontroller. We provide schematics, source codes, open source. For us, this is demo, and we like to open all this all the all the needed documents, schematics, PCB uh, and source codes to our customers. As we are WizNet, the wizards of network, we also have the wireless internet applications and wireless internet modules. So I'd like to introduce, oh no, James, <laughs> I'd like to introduce our Wi-Fi, WizFi modules. So there we have client modules and limited access point modules with very low power consumption for industrial use and we have access point uh, big access point uh, modules uh, here is a demo application with uh, our low power Wi-Fi with file module and I'd like to introduce my colleague Mr. Tobias Wells the product manager wireless. Hello, I'm Tobias Wells and I will shortly show you this demo application about our WISFI module. Here we have an Arduino robot um, uh, together with our WISFI shield and we programmed a web server inside of the Arduino and our WISFI module is providing this web server port to the outside world and I'm now connected with this tablet PC which could be also a smartphone uh, to this uh, access point and now I will just press a button like the left button and then battery is too low uh, battery low <laughs> battery low is a funny uh, accident that happened here but shows the same functionality we implemented in the Arduino clone analog measurement of the battery voltage. So now battery voltage drop below 6 point something volt and to protect the battery we shut down the system and send a last message to on the web server that battery is low. So we have an alert system for our battery we, by, by a wireless uh, web server. So we have now recharged the battery of our robot and I will now show you how it works. I now press right button and it will immediately turn to the right and if I turn to the left it also does okay, this. Give it to me. And I hand over the robot to Joachim. Start <laughs> again. <laughs> it will stop at the end of the desk. Really? Yeah. No. No, it will not. <laughs> okay. So, 
Uh, please explain. What we have here, we have our uh, VSPI module, the TCP IP stack inside. We use the SPI interface to connect to a small 8-bit micro. And we have the web server application here. Okay, what we have seen here is a demonstration of one of our VSPI modules. And you see here a brochure of our VSPI modules. I think I explained uh, the difference between the um, client modules and the access point module. But what we have seen here is that our client module is also able to be an uh, access point. We name that a limited access point functionality and you can connect with up to three um, mobile phone, smartphone or whatever uh, computer to our client module and use it as internet interface. I, I hope you enjoyed my short introduction into our company and mostly into our products. And if you need more support, samples or volume of these products, you are welcome to order at SOS Electronics. Thanks very much.